Hello everyone, this is Edgar Assad, and today is another great day for another great tutorial using Wikitude SDK. So let's get into it. Let's go into their website and download Wikitude Expert Edition SDK. Don't forget to sign up if you haven't done it yet previously so that you could get the license key from them. So once we have downloaded the SDK, let's on our hive the Wikitud Unity example. Great, let's rename it to Multiple Object Tracking. Musical Toys. Now let's open up Unity Hub and uh, select and open the project that we have just renamed. Once it's completed, let's take a look at the objects that we plan to track. It is a guitar toy. Make sure you take a picture from all the angles you can. Pink keys toy. And the third one is yellow keys toy. Great, let's open up Wikitud Studio. Now let's create project, select object targets and call it musical toy tracking. So let's create object target and choose images of guitar toy. And uh, let's select all the images we have in the folder. Let's name it guitar. And create a target. Let's wait while it processes. Um, and Try not to upload other uh, images until it finishes up with the first one. So great, let's add the pink key toy. And let's create target. Pink keys toy, right? Not pink key toys. And let's add the third one, yellow keys toy. Control A open up yellow key store and let's create it so once we have three objects uh, I suggest you open up Wicked Studio Editor and take a look whether it lies down horizontally if not, I suggest you rotate it so it would lay down horizontally. In such case, it would be easier to adjust the content that we plan to use. So in this case, we need to rotate it minus 90 degrees on X axis. Save it and let's get back. Let's download the tracker or to be more specific, generate it and uh, send it email. So let's download from our email and uh, yeah, let's take out the license key from Tutorial Assets folder. Take a look at the content that we plan to use. Lots of sounds, some materials. Sounds will be different for each uh, for each uh, toy object, and uh, also I have prepared prefabs and three scripts for each of the uh, toy object. 
So let's drag and drop app content to Unity itself within the project view. Once it's done, let's cut and paste the tracker into the streaming assets folder within the Unity. Let's remove all the scenes we have in the build scenes. And let's load simple object tracking scene that is provided within uh, Wikitude Expert Edition SDK. We'll be reusing it and work on top of it. Now let's copy and paste the license key we have here. Uh, we will uh, enter the package name at the end of the tutorial. So let's name the scene Musical Toys. And let's add to the build settings. File build settings, add open scenes. Okay. Now let's go into live preview and select webcam, the one that you have connected to your PC. And now let's select the tracker itself. Instead of fire track, the tracker that we have just copy and cut and paste into the streaming assets folder. Now, as you can see, we have three objects that we plan to track. So computer and targets, let's set from one to three. Uh, let's disable the objects we have here and duplicate object trackable two times. So the first object trackable will be for guitar and we enable it. The second one is for Pinky's toy. And the third one is for Yellow Geese toy. Great, now select the guitar and let's enter into preview mode. Let's decrease the gizmo so that we could see the points of the guitar well. And we're going to use guitar interaction effects prefab. Let's drag and drop at the moment at uh, the object trackable guitar. As you can see, there are some gray zones, which is touch zones. And within the prefab, we have a guitar code attached and uh, also four audio sources. Well, it is specifically coded uh, to handle uh, a melody sequence, sound sequence. Uh, and uh, as you can see, all the structure is already provided for each guitar button. So we will have different modes for the buttons, guitar mode, drums, mode, boom chick and animation mode. Then we have a green button that triggers just music. We have even 31 different sounds. Those 31 sounds actually uses these four audio sources. So this is the guitar one more time. As you can see, these are the buttons and we will add touch zones over there. So let's open up a script and take a look what's happening here. So we have a main class. Then we have a method to change modes, a method for slider volume, trigger orange, red and green keys, um, just triggering um, gr green button for music, guitar handle music, trigger melody sequence, and of course we're checking 
uh, what was touched uh, on the guitar itself, which which touch zone, right? And it is important that uh, game objects would have a specific name. Guitar orange key, guitar red key. Uh, let's check it out. And here, here itself, as you can see, these touch zones have the same name as we we saw it within the script. So this is important. It must be the same. And uh, the last thing is actually triggering the effects. So that's about it. And this is the most complex script that we have in this tutorial. And let's drag and drop this prefab to drawable wearable over here, right? So the same thing uh, we should do with Pinky's toy object. As you can see, it looks like this. And once we have added a prefab to our scene, the touch zones for the keys looks like this. And the structure is pretty much the same of what we've seen in the guitar case. It also contains a script, which is much simpler. 13 sounds, effect, and materials for changing the color once we trigger a specific zone. So let's add this prefabs to object trackable, drawable, variable, okay? And the last one, the yellow keys, looks like this. Four keys and one mouth. And the zones looks like this on this specific toy. And the script is even simpler in this case. Tongue triggers, uh, might trigger three different music tracks at random and other keys triggers only one sound and let's assign this prefab to drawable variable as we did with previous two objects let's save it let's go into build settings player settings and change the package name to com dot our dot wiki to dot ar this is important because license key is actually related to this package name. Please keep this in mind. And let's see what we have here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, please like and subscribe so that you wouldn't miss any tutorial in the future. So that's it for now and see you soon, bye.